Hey, Chef and Chefettes. What's up, YouTube? We are back. Back with another video, baby. Guys, I'm excited. I can tell. Because today is going to be a banger. A banger song. Bang. Y'all ain't even know I can do this, right? Ah! Sit, do your high pitch. Come on. Come on. I'm, I have the instrument. You have the vocals. What's happening? Where'd you pull that out? I refuse to answer any questions about where I pulled it out from. I ain't know you had a prop. I ain't got no extra prop. Why you got a prop? You got a hat. You got a hat. Well, we in Mexico. What you put? You know what? Guys, tell them what we're cooking today. We are making some Berea tacos, guys. Berea tacos. Mmm. I'm excited. Let's jump right into this recipe because it's about to go down. probably like all that stuff you need all this stuff we need guys so make sure you pay attention because I'm gonna tell you everything you need to make these Maria tacos okay now first things first we need some black pepper we need some salt we need basil we need some cinnamon powder ground cloves make sure it's, it's ground okay we need some Mexican oregano we need some thyme three bay leaves, some cilantro, a red onion, small, make sure they're small onions, a small white onion, about five garlic. Chopped up. Chopped up. You need some beef bouillon, guys. Um, and now we have our peppers. Let's go to our peppers. You need a can of chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Can y'all see that? It's Can clear. see it. We need some chili peppers, mm. some chili pasarilla, un chili ancho. These things are big. You see how big these things are? We see it. You need some mozzarella cheese. About five or six ounces, guys. You need, uh, we have here about two pounds of chuck roast meat, beef, and you're gonna need four cups of water, guys. And of course, you can make tacos without tortillas. tortillas, right? So we have some- Corn? Yes, corn tortillas, right? The mini ones or the bigger ones, whichever you prefer. And that's all the ingredients you're gonna need, guys. Today, we're gonna make ours in an Instapot, so, you can make it in an Instant Pot or a slow cooker. So we about to show you the next step. Don't forget the blender. What's up, oh, amigos? Back with the next step. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prep our beef. So we're making ours in a Instant Pot. You know, if you don't have an Instant Pot, you can use a pressure cooker, you can use a Ninja Foodie, or you can just do it in a regular pot on the stove, but that's gonna take longer. Since we're using our Instant Pot, what we're gonna do first is brown our beef. What we did so far was season our beef with one teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of black pepper. We mix it around, we let it sit for a little, and now we're gonna put it in a pot to brown it. That's it, you just wanna brown it. So follow me over here, and that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna brown this just for a couple minutes, maybe five, 10 minutes until it's brown on both sides. And then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna throw it in the Instant Pot. All right guys, so 
as our beef is browning, I'm gonna show you how to make the chili sauce, all right, for later. Watch, so these are the ingredients you're gonna need besides water that we're gonna put in our blender. But first things first, we're gonna need our chipotle uh, peppers in our adobo sauce, one, okay? We're gonna need three chili peppers, one chili ancho, and one chili pasadilla, all right? And we're gonna put the dry peppers in this boiling water for about 20 minutes. Don't forget to gut the peppers. Yes. Oh, I already did that, guys. I took out all the peppers and cut the stem. You can see that all up the, ahead. All the seeds. All the seeds, yes. And we're just gonna let this boil for about 20 minutes. So the next step, I'm gonna show you what to do with that chili. Oh, we're back. Hey, guys. Uh. It's perfect timing, you wanna know why? because we are about to check our chilies. That's right. It's been about 20 minutes, guys, and we let it, we brought it to a boil, and then we covered it and let it simmer inside the hot water to okay. make it soft. I hope you guys are paying attention because there's a lot of steps in this Maria tacos. Look how soft Ooh, that looks, see that? Uh, let's get a look. Nice and soft, looks, dripping. Looks good. So we're gonna take our soft, let me burn it closer because I am clumsy. We're gonna take our all our soft chili, not in the water because we find the water to be a little bit bitter. So we're not gonna add the water. Instead, we're gonna add one cup of water to our blender. We'll take all our chili. All the chili, 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 chili. Chili, chili, cocoa pop, oh, chili, God. chili, bam! Chili, chili, oh, chili, oh, chili, oh, chili oh, bam! Oh, you know what I, I start. I, I started you off, huh? You did. Oh, oh, look! I almost, I almost missed the chili. You almost forgot a pepper. Almost forgot one. Mm -mm -mm. These little suckers. Jeez, watch your mouth. No, there's one in here, and he's being stubborn. Put on your glasses. I got my glasses on. No, you don't. I totally do. Mm -hmm, okay. I totally do. Make sure I got all of them. All I got right. all of them. All, all right, guys. All right. We got all our chili peppers. We don't need that. We're gonna take one pepper from our chili, peppers and adobo sauce, put that babble in there, Boop. Right? And our one cup of water. Come close, look at the blender. You can see it. And we're gonna blend this bad boy up. So it's nice and smooth. And we're gonna use this for the meat. So after, after we blend this up nice and smooth, we're gonna set it to the side, guys. So stay tuned. Right, so me amigos. Now we're on to the next step with our beef. Like we told you, we browned it for about 10, 15 minutes on the stove. Now we put the beef in the crock pot. Come see, come see the beef in the crock pot. See that? Mm. All right, give me some space. You're all, you're all up in there. All right, all right. Right. Mue muevalo, muevalo. Oh, oh shoot. Next, we're gonna add four cups of water to our beef. Gonna add one whole onion chopped up. Three bay leaves. We're gonna take those out after, but we're gonna add three bay leaves. Then we took five chopped up minced, however you wanna call it, garlic. Fresh garlic, guys. Make sure everything is fresh. Make sure your hands are clean. Next, we added about one teaspoon of salt. You can use uh, half more, one and a half if you like. We don't like too much salt in our dishes. We're using one teaspoon. We're gonna use one teaspoon of Mexican oregano. I got a good eye for this, so don't worry, I'm not measuring. I got a good eye. Mm. You know, if you got many years of cooking like me, you can judge by pouring. Let's see what you pour. Now back up, don't repeat <laughs> your <video. laughs> Let me see, let mind me see. Your mind your business, Jeez, I'm, I'm cooking. But our, that's crazy. Guys, guys, you like my hat? We can't see your eyes though. Good. That's crazy. Guys. But, wait, I have a question. How what do you want? how can we know how much you're putting, or how can you know how much you're putting if you can't see? I just told you. Cause you're a professional. I just told you how much I put. All right, let's go. Before I was rudely interrupted, mi amigos. Next, we're gonna use half a teaspoon of thyme. Pinch of cinnamon, not too much. You can use a pinch, about one eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, not too much. And then you wanna use your ground cloves. Same thing, about a pinch or one eighth of a teaspoon of your ground cloves. 
Beef bullion, you're gonna need two tablespoons. Uh, each pack is about a tablespoon, so you add your beef bullion. I know you guys are probably like, ooh, this is a complicated recipe. Yes, it is, but trust me, you're gonna love it. You know, not everything in the kitchen is easy peasy or quick. True. Sometimes the good meals, they require a lot of effort. And time, guys. And that's why you got this video. So make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And then you can watch this over and over <laughs> and over until you perfect these barilla tacos. Mm. Let's see this Don't part. Don't worry, I'm gonna save you guys a piece. Excuse me. No, we have to see. You breathing on my neck. I know, but I just have to see because it smells really good. All those. All right, back up. You're, you, you, you're cramping my style. Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, oh, thank you. Shoot. You won't be seeing me all up in there like when it's your scene, all up in your face. That would Shoot. be lovely though. They would appreciate Shoot. that. I'll be all up in your face. Guys, last step. We're gonna take the mixture that she just made for you guys. Oh, you could have took the blade out, but you always want to sabotage my scene. You're professional. You could have took the blade out. You're professional. Shucks, man. You got it. Guys, you're going to take the chili peppers that you blended, and you're going to get a strainer, and you're going to pour it in. Come close. This, yeah, yeah. Let's, this let's you see. can see. Come, come, come. come. We don't, can see right here. Don't be scared. You can see in there? We can see. You're going to strain that in there. Ooh, it smells good. It looks good. Guys, like we tell you, if you don't have an Instapot, you can make this on the stove. It's just gonna take a little longer. This should cook for us for about what, an hour, hour and a half? Mm -hmm. On the stove, it may take you two to three hours. So you can still follow our recipe if you don't have an Instapot, a pressure cooker, or a Ninja Foodie, something that's gonna cook your food fast under pressure. So guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all of this in, close it, hit the meat stew button, it's gonna cook for about an hour and a half, and we're gonna show you what it's looking like. Hola. We are down. Excuse me. Chica, where is un sombrero? Oh, mi sombrero. No te preocupes. Uh, oh, no, mi guitarra. No lo tengo tampoco. Oh, no. Sorry. Boo, I'll get it together. Boo. <laughs> all right, guys. So we are down to the final steps, all right? So let me tell you guys what we did. We took the broth fat from the meat after it was done cooking. The meat cooked in our Instapot for one and a half hours. Yes, and we put it aside here, okay? And we're gonna use that for the tacos. We took our meat from all the sauce, all the broth, and we chopped it up nice and fine. You see how nice this looks? Look at this. Oh yeah, let me get And it's so soft. Let me zoom in on that. We chopped it up real nice, all right? And the remaining of the broth, we just Set it aside because we're going to use that for our dipping sauce later. We're about to make our tacos, guys. You ready? We've been waiting. Oh, I've been waiting. My stomach is like, whoa. All the time. All right, guys. We got our tortilla. We're going to dip it in this sauce. We, we have our skillet, skillet over here. We coming close for this. Yes, please come close because I'll probably make a mess. Mm-mm-mm. Right? We have it nice and hot. Don't add no oil. The fat from here will substitute for your oil. Yeah. And we're going to put that right in this bad boy. Ooh, ooh, let me get up in there. We got to see this. You hear that? Ooh. Missed the spot. Don't worry. That's why I got this spoon. Bow. Oh, bow. Sound effects, too. Yep. All that. Oh, you don't need me to edit. All that. Ooh, I hear it. We're going to take a little bit of our meat. Put this bad boy right there. Some cheese. Remember we had our cheese, right? Plenty of cheese. Some mozzarella cheese. You put your, your cheese first or the meat first. It's all going to the same spot. Take a little bit of onions, guys. Mm. A little bit of cilantro. Can we see, can we see? Come look, come look. And we're gonna cook that. Sorry, got the spatula. It cooks quick. It cooks really quick, and we're just gonna toast that up. So we're gonna flip this over. Oh, we can't see. You in the, there we go. Can y'all see now? We looking. Mmm. Barilla tacos. Nice. Yeah. Barilla tacos. And you guys, you gotta hold it there for a little bit so that cheese can melt and seal that taco up. And just flatten it down, guys. Oh, just like that. 
Nice, buddy, a taco. Let me see a taco dance. That is not a taco dance. Mmm, that smells good. You got distracted right from my dance? It, it smells guys, good. Guys, are you just gonna cook this for about two or three minutes on each side and do that for the rest of them, guys? Hola, senors and senoritas. Tacos is almost done. Actually, the tacos is done. This is the final step. Now, the remaining broth, the sauce from the meat that we cooked, that's what we have here. Now we're gonna make a dipping sauce for our tacos with this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your onions. You're gonna add maybe a tablespoon or two to your sauce. Mm. I'll take your cilantro. This, I don't need a spoon, I can use my hands. I'm gonna sprinkle that on top. Okay. That look good. Guys, you like it hot? Yeah. We like it hot. <laughs> Put a pepper in there. Put a little pepper in there. And last but not least, spritz a little lime juice in there. That's yeah. it. So that is your sauce. You're going to dip these beautiful Berea banging tacos in. That's it, guys. Hope what are we going like to do with that meat? Go! I forgot to add the meat. Why didn't you say something? It's crazy. Think you messed me up? You want to sabotage? I'm sorry. The remaining meat <laughs> from the tacos. We didn't use all the meat. We did leave some of the meat because you have to add the meat in there. I done forgot about the meat. Right in my face. That is crazy. Were you trying to save it so you could sneak in and eat it? You don't know me. Okay. You don't know me. Right. Now let's see what it looking like. Mmm. I can't believe I almost forgot the meat, guys. So here you got the dipping sauce. That's it. Hey, guys. Back with the finished product. Look at that sauce. First look at that sauce, though. Let me, let me come up close. Let's it's see that so sauce. Good. Thumbnail. 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 Mm, lucky my hands full. Yeah, please don't spit it. Look at this, guys. Guys, make these tacos. Oh my God, I have to taste it. Like I just, I have to. I'm gonna feed you one, honey bucket. Look at that. Look at that dripping, guys. Yes, you that. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Make these Maria tacos, guys. Oh my God. That's it, guys. Mm. Hope you like this recipe. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Okay. And we, we are out. out.